Look at these guys. I found all these guys in the barn. All of them. So, like, these ones are all darker than... And there's only one in here that's, like, normal colored. So I have between, like, 30 and 32, I think. So what I'm gonna go do... Uh, is I'm gonna bring them inside my house. And I'm gonna just, uh, dump them in here. And see if I can't get them to pupate. So I'm pretty sure these are millworms. And if they are, then I can add them, I can get those to pupate and add them to the beetles I already have. Most of them seem to be hiding in there. Get my little carrot and then, uh, That'll add some new blood to my, uh, to my millworms right there. Yeah, they're dark. They're, like, really dark. That's interesting. Alright, so, um, it's been a while. Like, a couple months since I got these, these wild ones from the barn. And as far as I can tell, none of them have pupated in here. And I can't really figure out why. Um... Because they all seem big enough. No, unless they're like secretly super worms, and I didn't know that. So, um, I remember that I had tried to raise super worms at one point, and my research had told me that you had to separate them. You had to put them in a little container and like stress them out for them to pupate. Um, so I got to thinking that maybe for these guys in the wild, it might be a little bit m more cutthroat. Because obviously, there's beetles. I've seen the beetle wings. Um, which means there has to be pupa. There has to be something that's laying eggs. They have to be able to get to the pupa stage and then to the beetle stage and then breed. But it might be, um, I don't know, a little bit more cutthroat out in the wild. So if any of them have pupated in there, I either haven't noticed, I haven't seen any sifting through there, or they've eaten each other because they're in close proximity, despite the fact that I give them food. But, you know, I didn't see a whole lot that they could use as moisture in the barn. So, I got to thinking that maybe, maybe I needed to separate them with their own little food source. So, as not necessarily to sort them out, but maybe in that way, they'll feel a little safer. And if one of them does pupate, uh, it won't get eaten by the others. So, I'll actually be able to harvest it and let it turn into a beetle and, um, you know, actually have a beetle. This is the only one out of like the 23, I think I said, this is the only one that is the light golden brown one. The rest of them are, um, dark. They're all like black. Um, and I didn't know this until I looked it up, but that's because there's like two different varieties of millworm. One of them is the shiny beetle. Uh, which is the one that I have. It's the light golden brown ones. And then the other one is not shiny. Now, I don't know if they can interbreed, but, um, yeah. So, that's, that was cool. I don't, I can't tell you what the scientific names are or anything, so I'm not going to bother. But, uh, this is my new bin that I just started. This is the one that I'm now growing out and harvesting from. And I have two things of beetles now. So hopefully I'll get some of these to pupate and I'll be able to add them in with the rest of my beetles. Guys, I got one of them to pupate. Finally. It took so long. This guy is actually really big. That is a really big pupa. I have been thinking a little bit lately that like the mealworms I currently have in here, their pupa aren't that big. Like, I think I remember having slightly bigger millworms than that. So, but this is one of the dark ones that has pupated. And again, I'm not entirely sure if they can interbreed with the lighter ones, of which I only have one from the barn. So, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. But I'm excited because now I have 
one pupa. I need to get him out. Probably put a new one in there. As soon as I can get a couple more pupa from these guys, then I'll start getting eggs from them too. Oh, that's kind of exciting. So, these guys aren't pupating very much. I'm starting to get all these little moth-like creatures in here too. I think I know where they came from, but. So I've got some baby millworms in here now. I'm still slowly cleaning this one out. I'm pulling out some millworms and putting them in the freezer to save them. I don't know. Jeez, it took so long just to get one pupa. But that's exciting, so now I just need to get a couple more. I'll go ahead and take him out and maybe get another worm from here. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited. Cool. So, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll take a look at what the beetle looks like in a little while. There's the size comparison. That's one of the descendants from one of the pupated millworms that I got from the pet star. And that's the one from the wild one. He's... I mean, I don't... Not quite twice the size, but noticeably larger. That's pretty cool. You know, this might be a good way to breed some size back into the, the millworms, maybe. But we'll just have to wait and see. There you go. There's the first... First beetle from the big ones. Let's see if I can get him in and we'll see a size difference. There you go. It's a size comparison. He's quite a bit bigger. So I'm really hoping that he can breed with the others. Or that this second one might be the opposite of whatever this one is so that they can start breeding. <sighs> I haven't gotten any other pupa yet it looks like but I'm really just waiting for that one because that's the only light colored one I have so I'm hoping that if none of these other ones can breed with the ones that I have originally then that one can and that can start adding some size back into this um, because he is quite sizable compared to the others it's very interesting, so I hope he doesn't start cannibalizing the others. But, uh, yeah. So, this is an in interesting experiment. We'll have to keep an eye on it and see if we can get a size comparison going. Keep an eye out and make sure, you know, see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll get some more of the large black ones, and then I'll have a mixture in here. If they can't interbreed, that's fine, but... I don't know, I'm excited about it, so this should be cool. Alright, I've just cleared out this container. All of the wild millworms I have left are in here. So now I have lots of wild millworms ready to pupate. Three pupa and two beetles. In uh, this one right here, I think. That's exciting. Yes. Okay. So cool. The one I'm still really waiting for is this one because this is the only golden one that I found in the wild. The rest of these are all the black ones. So yeah, that's cool. So I've got these three pupa. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah, that's cool. Super cool. So we'll see how that turns out. I'm hoping that they can interbreed, uh, like maybe at least this one can. That way I'll start getting, because these millworms are a little bit bigger than the commercial ones that I've got here. And I don't know if that's just because they've been bred that way for over the years. But if I can get a little bit more size into them, that would be great. For lots of reasons. 
So I'm going to go ahead and do some cleanup in my millworm bins and I'm going to go ahead and get some more millworms to freeze. There you go, you can see the wild beetle right there. You can tell he's a little bit bigger than the others. I was looking for him yesterday when, maybe it wasn't yesterday, the other day when my other pupa finally hatched and I was given a second one and I was having the hardest time finding him. I think this is the older one here because he's darker and this is the younger one because he's slightly lighter. But I think you can tell, maybe not so much on the video, but you see how the smaller beetles are shinier and he's not really. I think that was the biggest difference that was mentioned when I was doing a little bit of research. So yeah, that's cool. I'm hoping that either they're able to interbreed somehow, like maybe the males of the smaller species are able to breed with them. If not, then hopefully I have a male and female maybe, and hopefully I'll have some more males and females and all that stuff, and then I should be able to start getting slightly bigger millworms in here. Not super worms, which I might do eventually. I might try to do that again, um, but slightly bigger mealworms. This is the one that has the most beetles in it right now.